eLearn, or Blackboard, is Education Queensland's preferred LMS, or Learning Management System. At Cairns School of Distance Education, we use eLearn, or Blackboard, to present all our digital courses. You'll find a link for eLearn on the main page of the portal. I'm just showing you now. It's right at the top, and it is the main site you'll use to access all of your courses. Let's click it and have a look now. Once you enter eLearn, you'll find some tools on the left-hand side. Some of these are not used, but you can have a look through them. The main thing you'll go into is your courses. Okay, so you can see my courses here. This student has four courses listed. You may have one or two, or you may have up to six, seven, or eight. Let's click on one of those courses to enter a course. Now, the layout of all courses can be very different because they are made by multiple teachers teaching different content, right down from preschool right up to Year 12 content. There are some things that are general across some courses, and we're going to mention those in a sec, but generally you will need to go into each of your courses and do a little bit of investigation to see how your teacher has laid out your course. One of the things that is fairly general to all the courses is an announcement section. You can see the announcements section here, and that will have notices from your teacher about upcoming events or things that have changed on the course. Another thing that is fairly consistent across most courses is the layout. You'll see that the menu is down the left-hand side, and the main part of the content is to the right. You'll find the menu will be different, colours will be different, and layouts will be different. So I suggest you go through, click some buttons in your course to have a good look through this. One of the ones you will find that will be consistent across most of the courses is the Collaborate Sessions. Now, Collaborate Sessions are where we have our live lessons, and we're going to do a separate video showing you how to access those. But for the time being, it would be a good idea just to click in there and have a look where you access your live lessons. Another thing that might be on most of the courses is somewhere where it has your units of work. And this is generally where a lot of the work or content for your course is held. If you can find one that says something like units or units of work, have a good look in that because that might have most of the content in it. Another one that is generally on most of the courses are your work rate calendars. And we're going to talk about work rate calendars further down the track as well. But you can go in there and a good idea is to print those work rate calendars out, put them on your wall so you know when your work is due. Okay, thank you for listening.